Hello again, online friends. Welcome back to Simple Haskell. Um, so this is kind of the last real video about, um, I would say, theory about the Haskell language. Uh, there are definitely, I mean, at least for a while, um, there are definitely other pieces that are worth talking about. However, I think they are not so much simple Haskell. Um, I might make a, you know, depending on the feedback I get, and I'm really curious about this, if you would like to see something like, um, you know, a branch of simple Haskell where I cover uh, far more challenging concepts, except the goal there is just to make it simple, uh, explain it in a simple manner. Um, and you know, that's, that's kind of, I, I guess what this whole, uh, channel is supposed to be itself is just about taking something that might be a little challenging to explain or sorry, to understand and trying to give a very useful explanation such that, um, it's, you know, you can understand it at the end of the day. So, but I guess the concepts in that case will be a little bit more, uh, niche and um, and yeah m maybe a little bit more complicated uh, otherwise you know the majority of my videos will just be about uh, tutorials and um, yeah you know we'll, we'll, we'll see um, but anyway so this being the last uh, kind of theory heavy piece um, you know where we're not talking about a specific uh, tooling. Um, this piece is traversable, and so traversable is is, you know, um, I was gonna say it's like foldable. It's not at all like foldable. Um, traversable, really, we're looking at the type level of things. So. Let's call into uh, into play a very particular uh, piece here, and that's sequence A. And if we look at the type here, uh, actually, I believe there is a, a case in which we do need a foldable instance for certain functions of the traversable type class. But um, you know, if we look at the types here, all we're really doing is shifting around the containers. So first, at first. Uh, T wraps RFA, or, you know, said more to the point, uh, T wraps F, whereas we flip it around and F wraps T. And that is the core of what, um, sorry, traversable uh, is about, is flipping around what wraps what. And, um, and then there's another function which I will cover, uh, mapm. and its variant, which is uh, this. So map M and its variant. And so um, I have a little example here of sequence A. And um, yeah, so we're gonna start with, um, I'm just gonna go down a bit. If we say sequence A of something that fits the sequence A, so the outermost piece is traversable, uh, and the innermost piece uh, is applicative. Um, then we would have, so our outermost piece here is, and our traversable piece is the list. Our inner piece is maybe. So this reads as sequence A, in this case, is going to say, so our specialized sequence A here is going to say, take a list of maybe A and give me back a list, or sorry, a maybe list of A. And yeah. So if we do this, so we say just one, just two, just three. That gives us back uh, just one, two, three. And if we look at the types here, we see that, again, this is a list of maybes, and that this is now a maybe list of A. 
or I suppose our int, or sorry, int is our a in this case. So, um, what happens if we run this again? If we say, if I take this result, oh, I'm actually just going to do that, and then um, if we say sequence A again, so we have this here, then look what happens, we are back to where we started. So, um, if we, so we can kind of do a law here, just for the sake of, of making it very clear and obvious. Uh, it's so obvious, in my opinion, that we can make a law here, is I guess my thinking. Um, and if we have x, then we can say that x is equal to sequence a dot sequence a of x. Right, so if we apply sequence A twice, it just is the same thing. Uh, it does nothing. And all it's doing, again, it's just flipping around the types, and we can do this infinitely um, flipping around the types. And, um, yeah. And, 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 and so, really, like, what is the motivation for what we're doing here? Um, it, it's not very clear here. Right, but keep in mind, we're not talking about just, we're talking about maybe. And that might give you a hint as to what we, we care about here. So if I say now instead that I want a sequence A of this list, which now has a nothing value, we see that instead turns returns nothing. So, um, and again, this is now just specific to the uh, maybe monad. But this is often where I find myself using um, sequence A or map M is to do with some sort of failure. And, um, and, 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 and the, the motivation in terms of, uh, well, the words of, for motivation, the, okay, the, sorry, the description of motivation for sequence A is typically to collect the results. And so that kind of makes sense here when we're talking about collecting the results. Um, we can see that, um, you know, we're going through and we are going to try and build a, uh, you know, the inverse basically, which is going to be just a list of one, two, three. But when we get to nothing, we find that uh, we did not, in fact, have a just result. We had a failure. And so there's no in-between here. It's either, it's all or none, right? It's all or none. Either every single one of these succeeded or the entire thing failed. Um, and that's how sequence A works. There's also a sequence like this. And what is the difference? There is no real difference. Um, no, it, the only, no, there's not, I mean, I'm just going to say there's no real difference besides really this. If we look, we see that one enforces that the, the inner must be a monad and the one only enforces that it must be an applicative. So, you know, they're largely the exact same. Um, you might find a case where it does, it does really matter, and um, so I guess you would just use one of the two. Now, the only other real uh, function here we have to think about is um, map M. So we have here, and, and well, there's also traverse. Traverse, though, is really, uh, I believe it even says that this is a type synonym. Uh, well, sorry. Okay, so map M and traverse are kind of like how we have sequence and sequence A. One is for applicative and one is for monad. But again, they largely do the exact same thing. So let's actually set up a main, which is going to use... Um, use map M and so it and this is actually quite simple because 
Um, well, we'll see. So I'm going to say let uh, inputs equal list of 1 to uh, 10. Let's say 20 to be exciting. And then we're going to say map m print inputs. And that is our, our program. There. All right. And so if we say main, that is fair as well. Import traversable as t. So I'm going to say t dot main, which refers to this main prime. And as we can see, it is going to print uh, 20 times and then end off with uh, an end result. So I can make this a little more clear by just doing this. And that's going to stop me from ending off with the result of map M and um, only show me the results of actually you know, applying this. And so what this is doing is, um, it's kind of, this is really much like fmap. You know, except fmap does not uh, produce a monadic, it cannot produce a monadic side effect. Um, so, and, and again, if we, let's now inspect the type of uh, map m. We see that it takes a monadic function, so it's an a to mb, uh, a monadic function, therefore, um, some traversable and um, returns a, um, a, you know, the traversable container with its values um, inside of the monad of M. And that's why we had this here, because this is what was returned with it being map M. We had, um, and this is, of, this would be, or it would have been of the type IO um, list of unit. And so that makes complete sense uh, in terms of the two relating to each other. Um, yeah, and what was the other one? It was traverse, yeah. So traverse would be the same except literally just n instead doing it through the applicative uh, manner. Um, and so it's a very subtle difference. It's not even really worth mentioning all that much. Uh, it will not ever really make a difference besides maybe performance. Um, so yeah. And um, yeah, th and that's really it. That's all there is to say about traversable. It is quite simple. Um, and I just want to make sure that I am not forgetting anything. Um, oh, this is prelude. Is there a data dot traversable? There's, oh yes, there is. And this is a, yeah, and so I guess there's also, um, you know, well this is even just traverse flipped around. So nothing really to say there. Um, this is a tutorial. Yeah, so that is literally it. I have not missed anything. And um, it's pretty simple. Um, but if you did not think it was simple, please let me know. You know, I, I have my email on the um, the channel's page, so you can contact me. Please feel free to contact me. Um, do not mind spam at all. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Hope you found this informative. And please keep tuned for more videos. Uh, and happy coding.